Hi everyone! I have a new project to share with you today. I created a mini out of toilet paper rolls and I used the My Mind's Eye blush collection paper. It's very cute, very vintage, very shabby chic, which is just my style. I distressed the edges with vintage photo, attached some recollections bling. This is an I Am Roses flower. In each pocket, I put two tags in. One tag I made, the other tag is just a shipping tag. So this is what it looks like. That's the first side, the back side. Here's my shipping tag, which I just tied these in a bow and just left them dangling because I thought it just gave it some more interest. So that's the first tag. I did some stamping on the bottom of this. And then this one. Either way, you could put it for photos. And most of this is just for photos. Okay, then I made another little photo mat here with some uh, pearl beaded trim. It's actually the flower beaded trim. And these are from I Am Roses. They're just the loose petals, and I just distressed them with vintage photo. I put a pearl in the middle. I added the word love right here, so you can put a photo right here. Then this page is a nice spot for a photo. And this rosette trim is from Saw Crafters. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. It's very, very beautiful. And of course it's pink, my favorite color. Okay, then I created this tag and it just says laugh. And that's the back side. And I stamped this, I believe this is the blush collection stamp as well. It is from um, my, my, my mind's eye lost and found too. The shipping tag, this is one of my favorite stamps. It's an Inka Dinka Do stamp and it's got the wedding dress. It's so beautiful and it just says believe. On the back side I did some embossing with butterflies and used vintage photo around the edges. The next page I just took some, um, I took a spray and cut it apart, and I think I got that at Joann's, and I got it like super, super cheap. Put an I Am Roses uh, shabby pink rose here. Put some vintage lace behind it. It's really cute, really, really vintage. Then this page here, I actually um, used a couple different pieces of paper from the collection and I put some bling across it, made a little pocket so that you could put your photos and journaling on here. Just stick it back in. That's pretty cute. Whoops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be blocking that. Then this is the other photo mat, again with the lace. Just did some stamping in the corner, the birdcage. This one says, 10 things I love about you. Very cute. This one I stamped the little banner and I think that's from the blush collection stamps as well. Distressed the tag, put some more paper on the back side. The next page we have just some lace that actually had this uh, pearl trim in the middle of the lace. And I got that, I don't know if you can see it, there it is. I got that at Joann's and I've had it in my stash for a long time. The next page, I just have um, an I Am Roses flower and I took the center out and just replaced it with a button. It's really cute. Put some string from a shipping tag in the middle, tied it off, and then just added a couple different pieces from the collection, vintage photo. I did forget to say that um, I actually painted all of these uh, toilet paper rolls with um, white paint and then I took my spun sugar distress ink and just kind of randomly hit it in different spots to give it a little pink tint. So this is what the tag looks like. Very plain but cute with the lace for a photo. The other side I just did some stamping. Here's the shipping tag, and I used the Tim Holtz um, 
stamp there. Very cute. And then that's from the collection, the dress form. Moving on to the next page. This here, I just used a couple different pieces from the collection. And then this little butterfly, I'm not sure if they still sell them or not, but this is from I Am Roses. Very, very cute. Then this page, kind of hard to see here, I just stamped this image on here. And the paper is just like script image. Added a little, um, oh my goodness, what did I do here? Oh, I think I just actually put the uh, sponge sugar right behind here real dark so it would look like a photo mat. And then moving on to the next tag. It's from the collection, just as a door. Very cute with the Eiffel Tower. And then the back page, I just stamped that little teapot in the corner. And then this is the shipping tag for the last page. And that's the Tim Holtz dress form. I know you guys have all seen that one. Very vintage, very cute. And then there's the last photo mat, and I just stamped the little bingo numbers across the bottom. So this is the last page of the mini album. This is what the back looks like. I hope you guys like it. I totally love it. It was, you know, cute, quick, and very vintage. Perfect for a gift. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it, you guys. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.